Welcome guys to another DL video. This time I've tried to play the Trudon and this is how it went. Sadly, we got sick. I didn't realize that the corpse that we ate on the hill was rotten. With that, I went straight into work, grabbed something to drink, and most difficult of all, tried to find something to hunt. We were a pretty small creature. We couldn't even see over the tall grass. We couldn't even see what was in front of us. A pretty small but deadly dinosaur. No, don't get me wrong, this wouldn't be a Kato video without me sliding off a cliff or mountain. Now, something that I really enjoy about the L is that you have to constantly search for food, for survival, which sometimes you might find, sometimes you may not, and that is the thrill of sometimes playing the aisle. You're not worried about other players, you're also worried about food. Something that gets me pretty involved with the ambient. In this case, I was lucky enough to find myself a wild boar. Now keep in mind, I have no idea how to play this dinosaur, besides the fact that you can poison people with your venom. So this will be a good practice, and you guys will see how bad I am. I soon came to realize that pouncing an animal in the middle of a forest was not a very good idea, because trees could make you jump off or get in the way. As soon as I noticed, we were out of stem. Even with the animal bugged, it seemed like my hits were not doing anything. So I had to try and try and try until he fell down. I had no choice but to rest and get my stamina up. With this, I already thought we have lost our food and now we're gonna starve to death. But 
as other games taught me, you need to be patient and it looks like luck was still on our side. With this, we were ready to have a full stomach, but there was just one thing that we needed to do. Defend ourselves from those annoying birds. This time, it seems like I was in luck because there weren't many of them. Sometimes when I've played this, they would come in flocks of 3, flocks of 5, or even flocks of 8. So this time, I got lucky and I went straight to devouring my prey. After having a full stomach, it was time to do my favorite activity, which was climbing down from rocks. Now, I don't want to brag myself, but I want to say that I'm getting pretty good at declining from rocks and sliding down mountains because for now, I haven't broken or even killed myself. So I think that is some improvement. After wandering through the swamp, I made a big and bad mistake, which was going into the swamp. I later came to realize that I was lost, I didn't know which direction to go, and most importantly, that we were not alone. I came across for what seemed to be four sub-adults or maybe Juvie's raptors. Now keep in mind, I am small, I am very well camouflaged, but they can still hear me. I had no choice but to stand my ground and stay very still and hope that they didn't hear me. That 
was a close call. And thank God we have better night vision than Omni Raptors. But with this, I couldn't find my grudge to at least attack the last one. Don't get me wrong, we are trying to survive, but I can't just get through this grudge of being a annoying and irritating little creature. You may ask this, but I will answer your question. Was it worth it? Yes. Now, remember when I said that this was the worst idea ever going into the swamp? This is why. At some point, I was lost and I kept swimming, running around, and I couldn't find a exit to this damn swamp. After what it felt to be hours, I finally found my way out. Dry land at last. Now it was time for us to migrate and see if you can find other Trudons. That sound was pretty close by, and because I was getting hungry, I decided to take a look and see what animal it was. And for my surprise, it was a group of stegos. Now I don't know the true power of a Trudon, if we were capable of taking down a stego, but because there were three and one of them was a juvie, I thought it was best for me to approach and try my luck. Lucky for me, they left their baby juvie behind, so as an assassin in the shadows, it was time to strike. I waited for the sound cue and went in to stack another venom. I had to be very cautious not to get hit by the adult, because one hit and it was all over. I had to be very cautious not to get myself fully exposed because as you guys can see there is no foliage, no tall grass that I can blend myself. Thank you. 
we finally were able to stack two venom on the juvie. Now we need to take care of the sub. My only objective was to focus the Juvie because I thought that would give me more chances of killing him. But then I decided to switch to the sub and make it my primary target. The reason why I'm not being aggressive and I'm taking my time, it's because of my stamina. Once my stamina is out, the battle is over. So I had to play it very safe and very cautious. Once we were outside of the tunnel and we had more foliage and more tall grass, that's when it was time to be aggressive. For a few minutes, I lost sight of that family stego, but then I came to realization why they want to go to this site so bad. Another adult stego. With that, things would get pretty difficult. But lucky for me, I found the small family. The battle was far from over, but because I was determined, I continued to fight in hopes of bringing down one of these tigers.
I hunted this group for roughly 10 minutes and I was starting to realize that probably this was a bad decision. My food was going down, none of the stagos seemed to be harmed and because of my own greed I had to pay the price. I decided it was time for me to just let that group go and try to focus in something worthy of eating. But because we were in a swamp, things didn't go as planned. I was starting to get really hungry and the only thing I could find to eat was one dead bird in the middle of the swamp. It was not much, but it was enough to keep me going. I was in a pretty rough situation, almost out of stem, no food to be found, and surrounded by water, I would either drown myself or die of starvation. It was pretty difficult to navigate through the swamp, not knowing where to go, not knowing where food is, but like I always say, keep a positive mentality and keep moving forward. And that's when we saw it. A ray of hope. If I can manage this catch, we can still survive and live on. I tried my very best to kill it, but it managed to escape. And now, I'm left with nothing. My only hope was the small food that was in the middle of the swamp. It might be edible, it may not be edible, but I had to try and take a look.
we finally got it. With this, we can now eat and live long. This goes to show that you need to believe in yourself and to not let greed take over you. Because of greed, we almost died. And sadly, I made a big mistake. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave your like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.